All bees buzz when they fly. Some bees buzz to communicate to each other. They seem to buzz a little louder when they are agitated. Caught in a tube, for instance. Oh, boy. Bumblebees and a few others buzz for another reason that has nothing to do with communication, flight, or distress. You can see them on a flower, buzzing like mad, until they are covered with a shower of pollen. What are they doing? If anyone knows, it's Professor Hollis Woodard, an entomologist with a particular passion for bumblebees. Probably one of the coolest things that bumblebees do and one of the ways that they use buzz is in buzz pollination or sonication, where a foraging worker will visit a flower and she'll vibrate on the flower. The buzz comes from the vibration of the muscles in the bee's thorax. Those muscles are used to move the wings, but also to produce the buzz without flying. The anthers contain pollen, but the pollen's locked away inside. And the bee needs to come along and vibrate on the flower to cause it to actually release its pollen. We know that a lot of that pollen that's released actually lands on the bee, and the bee can then scrape the pollen, put it in her pollen basket if she's a bumblebee, and then she can carry it back home. Ah, oh, they eat the pollen. They eat the pollen. But the primary reason that you see bees out collecting pollen is so that they can bring it back to their nest and provision their nest. So many flowers give bees food. In exchange for that, bees help many flowering plant species move their pollen around in the landscape. The best case scenario for a plant is if their pollen gets picked up by a bee and gets moved to another flower that's of the same species that's farther away. Some of our food crops depend on buzz pollination. If we didn't have bees coming along and buzz pollinating them, we wouldn't be able to produce these foods at the scale that we do.